Welcome to today's Five on Five. I'm Grace Smith. Now, Oregon students are facing a lot of challenges this school year. Today, we're speaking with Dr. Grace Bullock, Senior Mental Health Officer at the Oregon Department of Education, about how the state is addressing these issues. Grace, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. So tell me about ODE's Care and Connection campaign and why they decided to launch this, initi this initiative. Sure. The Care and Connection campaign was inspired by a lot of the beautiful work that uh, educators are already doing to welcome students back into the classroom. And we recognize that mental health is a cornerstone of education. So it's important to prioritize mental health so that students can learn and teachers can teach. Now, can you expand a little bit on why the department decided to launch a campaign like this? Absolutely. It's been a challenging year for all of us and transitions can be um, particularly difficult in any given year. And this year it seemed particularly important to take time to create care and connection, build community, give people time to, uh, you know, reacclimate themselves with the school environment and also build connections with each other before diving into the business of learning. What are some of the ways schools are taking part in care and connection? We're hearing a lot of great examples of how schools are welcoming students back and, and building community. Um, everything from uh, welcoming students back with brass bands to um, building towers out of dried spaghetti and marshmallows, uh, having breakfast with students every morning, greeting students with hugs when they arrive to the classroom. So there are a lot of beautiful examples out there of how um, schools and districts are building parent connection this year. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of students getting back to the classroom this year after it was kind of different last year. Can you touch a little bit on that difference? I think in general, um, you know, we're, we're all dealing with a lot of uncertainty this year. We don't know what to anticipate from day to day. And it's important that we try to build in as much time as we can to connect with each other and just reassure each other that it's okay to be a little bit nervous. Um, but we're all here in this together and um, we're building community support to support each other. All right, thank you, Grace. We'll be right back after this break. All right, welcome back. We're talking to Dr. Grace Bullock with the Oregon Department of Education today. Uh, doctor, did you learn any lessons from the Care and Connection campaign that the state plans to carry into the rest of the school year or the future? We always learn a lot from school districts in Oregon, and, and one of the things that really been reinforced this year is the importance of um, easing back into school transitions taking time for care and connection. We're hearing from teachers that this is probably one of the easier years transitioning back because there has not been um, you know, a quick jump into academics, but there's been time for students and teachers to adjust and, and get to know each other and, and you know, play and be human. And that's been really important this year. Now, from what you're saying, it sounds like the Care and Connection campaign is working in Oregon. Is this something that you think could be effective in other states? I would love to see other states implement this. Um, we've had interest uh, from a couple of national organizations um, regarding the campaign. And um, on the other side of the country, both Delaware and Vermont are um, interested in doing something similar. Yeah, and what resources are available for Oregon students and families that might find the return to school kind of difficult? There are a lot of resources on our website. You can access them through um, oregon.gov slash schools. And that will take you to um, a lot of resources, including the Care and Connection campaign webpage that has um, activities, resources, um, videos, social media posts. So anything that you could need, I think, will be there. And we'll continue to add more resources as the school year goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else about this topic that you think is important for people to know? One last thing I'd like to say is that we're encouraging schools and districts to make care and connection part of their school cultures and to be doing these activities all year long so that um, teachers can learn, uh, teachers can teach and students can learn and, and uh, school communities can thrive. Yeah, it feels like even after over a year, we're all still kind of uh, adjusting and learning to the changes. We absolutely are. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Bullock. We really appreciate your expertise and insight. Great. Thanks for having me. Be well. We'll be right back after this break.